Uh, this is it for Ethel and Friends without 10 years, and I hate it. <laughs> I'm not told him yet. Sorry, man. <laughs> hey, 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 Let's get it on. And Australia's dad is 74 years old. <laughs> That's not it, but thank you. His dad is so fucking old that I am going to wait until later on in the set to make the hard stuff about him, just because I don't think he'll make it. Dad <laughs> uh, Daniel's jokes, they're a lot like Pepe Le Pew, and uh, by that I mean they're French and they deserve to die. <laughs> He's been in a bunch of stuff you haven't heard of. Uh, he's, he's a very good actor. But as far as the ugly actors go, I feel like we need to reach a limit with that. Like, you, look, you make Paul Giamatti look like Brad Pitt. And you make Philip Seymour Hoffman look not dead. <laughs> you haven't noticed yet, but Dave and I are bald. Uh, I shaved my head because of male pattern baldness. And uh, Dave shaves his head just in case they're still looking for the guy who actually raped your ma. That's for the judges. Yeah. That's for the judges. I'm assuming. I'm not man. So. Yeah, we're both bald, we're both very bald. I make it look a lot better. As far as tragedies to our life goes, Andrew's baldness is like the Holocaust, and mine is just like that weak Paris bullshit. <laughs> uh, if you don't know this, Dave actually has two siblings. Uh, he's got a twin brother, 29 years old, unemployed. He's got a sister, 31 years old, a yoga instructor. And you've got, of course, Dave himself, who's barely an open mic comedian. <laughs> I don't know whether I should be roasting Dave and his siblings, or his dad, for coming failure three times in a row. <laughs> if a mole rat had sex with a closely related mole rat. <laughs> Dave, you've been working out, you look good. You look great. It's fantastic to see, man. You've obviously not been working out a lot as, uh, as much as your dad, who um, obviously has to shoulder the weight of your disappointment every day. <laughs> people's dads. Andrew's just gonna wait until he loses his mind a little bit more and finally is proud of him. <laughs> Dad, what do you think about killing yourself recently? I've actually got his last Google search here. It's, uh, should I kill myself? And Google's first response was, trust your instincts. <laughs> Give it up for these two! Thank you. That was pretty shit. Funny, funny than a Frenchie video, but pretty shit. <laughs> 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 Definitely funny than a Frenchie video. Yeah, I, I think that's what we're all going for. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go through the judges, eh? Oh, Andrew's, Andrew's nose to head though. I'm, I'm a bit intrigued about the fucking your dad jokes. We've got man crushing on each other's dads. What the fuck's going on, gentlemen? Fucking weirdos, mate. Reggie. Um, I don't know, bro. They look the fucking same, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that shit about my videos, my dad. Everybody. <laughs> Hello, oh, oh, I was thinking of that. I don't know who won, but I think I just lost. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, since he looks like Kerry King from Slayer doing a university degree, <laughs> I give it to him immediately. Alright, so both of you for Andrew. Alright, Andrew wins the first round. We're in applause. Alright, let's get it on. Dad 
joke, Dave's dad is blue-eyed, bald, and uh, was also a diplomat for the federal government. So he's very successful. In fact, Dave, he's a lot like you. If you never smoke weed. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is Dave is a massive burnout. He's a massive burnout. In fact, they're thinking of calling Ryan Dunn and Paul Walker and naming it after him. <laughs> Alright, these aren't going to <laughs> Dave Hennigan comes from such a privileged, old-school family that they still call coffee Dago Juice. <laughs> uh, Dave Hennigan was so bad at sex, he went to a prostitute and paid her in tears. <laughs> what up? There's a tag to that. He was credited for two future visits. <laughs> He's so polite, he's so polite, he apologises to the girl he masturbates to on Facebook. So he apologises a lot. <laughs> Andy Staria, a lot of you, most of you, no one knows him, he sucks. But his other bit is a fucking journalist. How does it feel, your shitty comedy, that out of the two careers, that's the most realistic one? <laughs> to people as a journalist. That is as valid as me introducing myself to people as fucking Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, he is a lot like Batman, slightly different. He's like Batman if Bruce Wayne's parents never died and then raised a complete piece of shit. <laughs>
This is a stupid joke. If you remember Dave's dad's diplomat, and Dave's comedy is a lot like George W. Bush's foreign policy policy. He's constantly bombing because of his father being such a shit diplomat. <laughs> Tim's comedy. <laughs> <laughs> 